Tonight we're going to visit a little bit about cankers in trees and in long-term effects. So if you're in a landscape where maybe you've established a tree or maybe you moved into a new landscape where you have a tree that you're trying to evaluate, if you want that long-term there, uh, it's critical to really take a close look at that tree and inspect the trunk and, and throughout the tree to see if there's anything that can make that tree long-term not perform very well or not live up to your expectations as far as the length of time you want it in the landscape. Uh, in this particular case, we're looking at an apple tree that was planted uh, about 10 years ago. And in fact, in this situation, uh, we've got quite a few cankers that are on the trunk. So when you look at it from a distance or even standing beside it, you might think, well, that tree looks pretty good. But when we take a close look, we can see that there's a lot of canker damage all along the trunk of this tree. Now, there's several reasons this could happen. This could have been some injury early on, uh, even from a, uh, something like a weed eater or a, a mower bruising the tree and scarring it. Could have been a scarring wound uh, from an early pruning uh, event or something. But somehow or another, we've had infections occur in the trunk of this tree that are really gonna weaken it. So it's one that long-term, you'd be better off to go ahead and remove it, uh, establish another one. When you're looking at establishing a new tree in the landscape, always make sure that you're looking at something that's resistant for our common diseases such as cedar apple rust or scab if you're dealing with an apple or flowering crab apple. Um, the other thing, when we look at these trees and we start to remove them, uh, we can see that the layering in the, the trunk of this tree, you can see how it's compromised. So here when we're cutting through the tree, in, at different angles and showing you that layering, you can see how much of that trunk is compromised and how weak it would be. So if this was even a larger tree and we had cankers like this, you could see how quickly this could become a hazardous tree situation to where it could fall on a, a building or home and, and be a risk in the landscape. So again, really important to look at these, uh, always wanting to assess you know, where that injury is. If we have cankers and branches on trees, uh, and many times we can do pruning to remove this. Just about all of these are fungal cankers that we're dealing with. So simply, you know, in that three to five inches below the affected area, making sure we're cutting that out. And that's gonna be plenty to get our cankers out uh, of that tree and help manage it. Because in that diseased wood or those, those branches that are dead, we're gonna have a lot of fungal production of spores that are gonna spread and infect other parts of the tree or similar trees in the landscape. So as far as general management, making sure we're pruning that out. But once it gets into the trunk of a tree and we start to see injury and damage like we're seeing in this one, it's really time to remove it.